Okay, I am determined to do this in one take. This is a no edit five minute vlog starting now. Mike, I'm taking you up on the challenge. Okay, so I picked out a couple of Amy's questions so I could talk about it. I picked out a couple so that way this kind of moves fairly quickly and it's not boring and arduous. First question, what are you, nost what are you nostalgic about from the pre-smartphone era? Two things, and that's it. And I think a lot of people can agree on it with me. Long battery life and durability. These things could be flown down a flight of stairs and land at the bottom. Thing falls apart, you slap back together, they put the battery and the battery case back on, and it's fine. My first cell phone, Verizon, circa 2002, old Motorola. Texting on these was fun, right? My first flip phone, an LG. It's seen better days. Second flip phone, had a little camera in it. I think it was like 1.3 megapixels. Also indestructible, I had like a little colored screen here. And my last dumb phone before I got my iPhone is this thing. This battery would last for a week of heavy duty use every day. Yeah, and these are these are pretty tough. You could you could chuck these right at the ground and totally fine. See, I screwed the joke up, but since I I can't edit, I, I didn't obviously I didn't throw it down there. I had like a tin and it was supposed to explode and make noises and stuff, but <sighs> the challenges of no editing. Okay. So screw that joke up. Next one. Who would I have coffee with? Who would I most like to sit down and have a coffee with? Steven Spielberg. Big fan of the guy. Yes, I have his bio. I read another one of his as well, but I, I rented that from the library. That one I actually bought. It was by a different um, author. Really, really interesting stuff. I mean, his first time on a, on a set, he, wanted to, he always wanted to be a director from when he was like eight or nine. And he'd go out with his dad's 8mm camera out in the desert in New Mexico where he lived at the time and make these films. And he told his dad, I want to be a director. And he said, obviously, the father said, you know, you do have to work your way up to it. So you start at, you know, lower level and you work your way up. He said, no, I only want to be a director. And his dad said, all right, well, you know, I'll help you do what I can. And Steven Spielberg was never anything but a director. He never worked as a PA. He never got coffee. He, he was always a director. He just hustled his face off and... And he got there. It was incredible. Uh, there's a story in there about Spielberg that he went on a backlot tour in Hollywood. And he snuck off set. Or he snuck, he didn't sneak off set. He snuck off the tour during a bathroom break or something. It was wandering around. And a guy that worked there saw him. He was a producer, I believe. And said, you know, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. And he explained how he wanted to do work in movies and stuff. And the guy said, okay, well, how about this? I'll give you a pass. You come back tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I'll show you around. And he did that. And the next, the day after that, he did it again. And again, even though the pass was expired, he kind of built a rapport with a security agent. I, I believe that that was, I think maybe it was for, uh, it was a three-day pass. But anyway, he just kind of used... Um, social engineering to continue being on set. I think he was there for weeks before people realized. I mean, he set himself up in an empty office, and anyway, and this, you know, he was he was young, so it's kind of crazy. Um, okay, so and I'd love to sit down with Steven Spielberg. I mean, he's the guy. He's the reason why I wanted to get into film in the first place. I watched Jurassic Park opening night in June of '93. Remember, the line was wrapped around the theater, and since then, I've just been enamored with all things motion picture. I actually brushed shoulders with him literally on the set of Indiana Jones 4. I worked on the New Haven unit. I was a production assistant and an extra, and we were in the quad. If you haven't seen the, the film, I'm not spoiling anything really, but there was a car chase through a, a, the quad at Marshall College, which is actually Yale University. That's where it was shot in New Haven. And we were setting up between takes, and I was walking on the quad, 
and he was walking towards me. It's a closed set, so I mean, it wasn't like people mulling around from the outside. I was walking on the, you know, sidewalk thing in the quad, and he was coming the opposite way. Timer's done. That was five minutes. All right, let me wrap this story up real quick. And, yeah, I, I, you know, walked to one side. He was on the other side, and I literally brushed shoulders with the man. It was just it was mind-blowing. Um, anyway, love to sit down and chat with him for, for a while and have a coffee with. Steven, if you're watching, my treat. I'll fly out to California. I don't care. My dime. I'll have coffee with you. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Not because I like getting presents. I love, love giving them. I love giving them to friends and family. Even more, I love giving it to people who don't know they're getting it. Um, you know, my local animal shelter has a wish list. And oftentimes my wife and I will go to Costco and fill up the shopping cart and go and deliver it. I don't think I've ever said that publicly before. It's not something that I, I do to brag about. I mean, I, I don't think anybody knows I really do that. Um, but try it. Take 50 bucks out. Go shopping for your local animal shelter or homeless shelter or what have you, whatever your passion is, and go drop that stuff off and give it to them with no expectation of anything in return. It is an amazing feeling. It's very addicting. You'll see what I mean. And plus, I get to see friends and family I don't usually see around the holidays. And yeah, a lot of good food and it's, it's fun. What have I learned the past 15 days? This is a lot harder than I thought. I did get over my fear of being in front of the camera, and I'm, I'm still getting over my fear of vlogging in public. In some, some situations, it does come back, but for the most part, I've gotten better at it. Um, but yeah, and just the importance, and, and how long this takes to edit these things, which this one will be my fastest edit because I am literally just putting it up. And uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, I've gone quite over. Oh, geez, I'm pushing on eight minutes. I apologize. Um, all right, so let me get that up. And I, I didn't swear because I don't want to actually curse on the vlog, so I don't have to edit that out, so there will be no editing. And also, I decided not to... Um, I'm not going to have milk and cookies in my edit bay today. No, it's not healthy to always be eating milk and cookies. Milk's good for you, you know, got the calcium and stuff, but I, I can't always be eating cookies, you know? So, anyway... That's it for this one. Mike, I did it. I pushed way past five minutes. Hopefully I wasn't boring. That's it. Bye.